Gabriella Fasciani is the man in clear and present danger. All in. Can you please stand up? Thank you. Three pretty decent players here. Thirteen five hundred all in. Thirteen five hundred. And Fasciani's put the pressure on Garcia here. Fold. It is too much. And we saw Fasciani move all in with 10-7 earlier. Bruckner called him with 8-7. Didn't get lucky. Has he got any sort of hand here? 13-5. Yeah. Would be 7,500 more. Well, getting 3-1 to one from the pot. It's an auto call. Is he going to fold? Well, he seemed as though he was going to put those back through the letterbox. But now, the thinker. Putting the maths through the machine. The computer is whirring inside his head. Eyebrow quizzically raised. He knows he's behind, but he also knows that the price is right. Call. And our chip leader call. makes the call. The correct decision. <laughs> Gabriella Fasciani laughs as if he thinks Bruckner was being loose there. But it was perfectly correct. So the man standing up with the short trousers is in a bit of trouble. And now he's in deep trouble because Andreas Bruckner has hit the nine. So now it will have to be running spades or a jack. Well, there's the spade. That makes it interesting. A jack or a spade or Gabriella Fasciani is going to leave us. And that is not good enough. A pair of eights, not as good as a pair of nines. So it is goodbye from our Roman player. Played well, unlucky. Books of life. The card players get to meet the football world champion and Bayern Munich star Luca Toni. Luca spricht sehr gut Deutsch. Sehr gut Deutsch. Speaks really good German. Kein Problem. Bavaria, no Deutsch. Bavaria. Bayerisch. Bayerisch. Grüß Gott. A vedere. A vedere. For a world star, Luca Toni is incredibly happy. It's hard to imagine that a goalkeeper can be upset when such a happy striker scores against him. And our poker troupe are thrilled about this particular very special meet. And when you're rubbing shoulders with an elite kicker like Luca Toni, then you also want to play football. This is about how long you can keep the ball up. And right from the start, the world champion throws down the gauntlet. <laughs> They may not have won the keepy up contest, but these players have outlasted everybody else on the felt. Andreas Bruckner goes into our heads up battle with a better than two to one chip lead. Ivan Garcia in the green shirt, however, has proved himself very fearless and aggressive. A lot of gamble in this young Spaniard. Quite a contest here. Wisdom, age and experience of Andreas Bruckner against the devil-may-care courage of even Garcia. Raise 10,000. 10,000 more. Total 13. Th 13. Seven more for you. Seven more for me. The raise, not a bad idea with four deuce if you've got a chip lead, but perhaps a little bit more. Just 7,000. Again, giving Garcia three to one to call here. It's marginal. All this sighing and moaning must make Andreas Bruckner wish he'd made it perhaps another 10,000 more. Then he would have got away with this steal.
Colin. Colin. There was a chance that Garcia could have steamed all over the top there, figuring that he's betting so much of his stack that he might as well make a stand now. Could have been his Alamo. It may still be. A nine for Garcia puts him in front. And a small pair for Bruckner. He's got the Ducks. He's got a backdoor diamond flush, but it's only four high. And I think he will be regretting 13, not making that more. Million. 13, 100. If he had exerted the pressure pre-flop, he would have got away with Call. this. Call. Oh, but he's calling. Show down, please. With bottom pair, and really no draw to be proud of. This is going to be a massive pot. Garcia will be the chip leader if he can dodge twos and fours. Well, now he has to dodge a five as well. But the diamond flush draw has gone. A four, a deuce, or a five. Two per checks. As it is. The best hand did win. 13,100. I'm afraid that is the first misstep we've really seen from Andreas Bruckner. When he made that call on the flop with bottom pair, even if he only puts Garcia on a draw... ...in the small blind and holding the button. Even Garcia. He's picked up King Nine suited. Very playable. I would not be surprised to see a shove here. He's still behind in chips, so he would be putting his tournament on the line. The chance to go to Vienna, play in our grand final, and possibly win a hundred thousand dollar sponsorship. He says all in. The career decision has been made. Oh, and he's walked into a genuine hand. Can you please move? Uh, Bruckner has lost with a small pair in that previous hand. Will he want to risk it all? or at least a healthy chunk of his stack with pocket fours. He knows that at best it's going to be a coin toss. He's going to be facing two overcards. A nightmare would be a bigger pair, but even ace-king, he's very much in a, in a flip against. He has chips. He doesn't have to get involved here. Call. Call. Show down. So it's come out pretty much as he suspected. And it's now going to be a very nasty 30 seconds or so while he tries to dodge kings, nines and spades. Will our Austrian be going to Vienna? Or can our Spaniard stay alive? Well, that's a good flop for the fours. Picks up a straight draw, but doesn't need it. Just needs to dodge a king or a nine. Turn card. That changes nothing. Garcia drawing pretty thin, needs to hit a cowboy, needs to hit a nine, or else we have a winner. Yeah. And what a river. Two per kings. Sorry. Punching the air, the young Spaniard. 31,700 <laughs> more. Look at the adrenaline bumping through him. He's grinning like he won the lottery. Well... He won a big, big hand, but it's not over yet. Andreas Bruckner, a four to one underdog. How much, Andreas? 
18.000. More or less. More or less. Hmm? More or less. More or less, más o menos. No te salte. A little bit more, 18.000. Yeah. Doesn't matter how much you have got, Andreas. Ivan Garcia is going to put some chips in the middle. How cute does he want to be? I think with the blinds quite high, this is a job for the sledgehammer rather than the scalpel. Doing a little bit of gardening. Race. Certainly doing his best to mask the strength of his hand. Uh, 16. Okay. 16? 16. He's raised it 16, having found out that Andreas has only got about 18. I think he might have been better advised just to look even weaker by shoving all in. That looks a bit calculated. But Andreas Bruckner has got a fairish hand all in. All in. and makes a crying call, a sighing call. Okay. Sit down. He won't be happy to see that ace because even Garcia has pulled some moves with rags. But he does have live cards and really the situation not quite as dire as it might have been. He's a marginal underdog and this flop could change everything. Ooh, that is not what he wanted to see. A bullet and more air punching from Ivan Garcia. Now, a massive favourite. It's going to need running hearts. Running sevens, running jacks. This is not looking good for the Austrian. Well... A three would not split this because Garcia has a six. Yeah. And there it is. Trip aces. They seal the deal for 25-year-old Ivan Garcia from Madrid in Spain. He is absolutely elated to be going through to our grand final in Vienna. My name is Grub Smith. This has been the B-Win Magic Moments of Poker. Join us next time.